it's time to start carving. So you might as well grab your tools, grab some veggies, grab some fruit, and we're gonna sit and carve. So let's go do it. Hello, uh, Chef Ray here. On today's show, we're gonna be doing some different uh, things today with some different vegetables and fruits. Just wanna let you know uh, some of the tools that we're gonna be using today. We're actually gonna be using some different sizes of uh, U and V cutters. Uh, U cutters are called that way because obviously they're a U cutter. Uh, the V cutters obviously because they're a V uh, cut. Um, we're also gonna be using a tie knife. These knives are very flexible, uh, actually made of aluminum very sharp and I'm actually using a Diba knife, uh, blades very thin, also very flexible. And another little contraption which is actually a, a vegetable curler, uh, like a heavy duty razor blade for uh, turning fruits and vegetables just like you would do uh, on a pencil. Uh, again, everything can be done with one knife. These tools just make our job easier. Uh, be very careful uh, when using these because of course both ends are sharp so as you're holding them you want to be very careful that you don't stab yourself so um, safety first um, artistry second so be careful and uh, what do you say well, we take these tools of the trade and we make some magic all right uh, welcome back I've actually uh, taken my carrots and have actually peeled these these work uh, much better when they are peeled what I'm going to do is just take my tie knife and make a uh, very long incision about halfway into the carrot. Uh, usually this is a three or four petaled uh, type of flower for our purposes. Uh, we'll make this into four and then these should in fact twist right off which in fact it did. Again we're going to trim this down to a point and going along the long axis make about three or four very long petals approximately halfway in and continue to do this all the way around and again continue to twist the flowers off. Now because these are a root vegetable these will actually last about a week to ten days in ice water so there's no use in having to do these last minute. I'm going to trim this down to a point again and again make the nice long cuts. If we've cut these correctly these pieces should just twist right off, which they do. So again, we'll trim this down. This particular piece takes about uh, two or three carrots to actually finish the final piece. So we'll see if that is in fact the case here. You can see that the flowers are now getting much wider. So again, we want to trim this down to a narrow point to keep our flowers from being too thick. And again, making nice long petals. This piece, of course, we'll save for a future uh, center of a flower. So let's just take this and start in on another carrot here. Now, again, the cuts actually overlap. So you can see that this uh, opens. And if we cut into another petal, that's quite all right. This will still work just fine. Again, the key to this is making these petals very long. Now, in this case, our carrot actually has a uh, break in it. That won't uh, affect us at all. In fact, that'll be kind of a nice thing. So we'll take it uh, down like this. I think we could probably get one more out of here. All right, we're going to see if we can just get this one last one out of here before we get to the break in the carrot. And perfect. We'll uh, save this for later. And now we'll begin to assemble the uh, carrot chrysanthemum. We're going to take the larger pieces here and actually. Uh, form a little circle right around the base here. Usually this takes about five or six uh, 
pieces. Then we're going to uh, begin to set our other smaller pieces right on top. Now, some of these are a little bit long. We can kind of shorten these up a little bit here. Looks like we need about two or three more little ones. So we'll uh, take a smaller piece of carrot here and uh, make us a couple of small ones just for the center. One more here ought to do it. One right here. Put our little one. And there we have it. No toothpicks required, no assembly required. This is actually just a uh, just a pile of little carrots. In this case, if we want to make this a little tighter, we'll just push these in a little bit closer. But again, there is our centerpiece, the carrot uh, chrysanthemum, done. Again, at the end of an event, we can actually throw these into a ice water, or we can actually take these and eat them. The perfect thing. Uh, just a reminder, if you need tools, books, DVDs, you need to learn, you can go to the website, www.chefgarnish.com located in Torrance, and uh, get your carving fix, if you will, uh, so that you can learn more, get the proper tools, and begin to become the true culinary artist that is inside each and every one of us. So until then, carve on.